Guess what we're doing today? We are making solar eclipse dog treats. There is a solar eclipse happening today. This video is actually going up really early so it can get spread out to you guys before the eclipse actually happens. Uh, we thought it would be fun to make some solar eclipse themed dog treats. A few of you on Twitter asked us to do this. So we figured, you know what? Why not? Let's get to it. So like I said, there is a solar eclipse happening today. If you don't know about it, Google solar eclipse 2017 and you can learn all about it. If you are going to watch the solar eclipse, remember do not look directly at the sun. Make sure you have the proper glasses or that you make the little cardboard solar eclipse viewing box. Don't look directly at the sun. Anyway, we're going to make some solar eclipse themed treats right now because I thought it might be fun. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There will be links for more of our treat videos up in the cards above and down in the video description below. Let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350. We are going to be making two different colored doughs. The dough is going to be made the same, but it'll be two different colors so that we can put it together and make it look like an eclipse. So first we are going to mix together all of our wet ingredients, which includes two eggs, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and I use the coconut cooking oil. One tablespoon of honey, which if you do after your oil, it will come right off your tablespoon. Whoa, is it sticky, Memphis? Does that look sticky? I wanna try it. There's really not much left on it, but you can try it. She's like, I don't know. There's literally nothing left on it. Wanna try it? Anybody else want to try it? Want to try it? I'm just like, no, that's sticky. I don't, I don't like that sticky stuff. Oven's preheated. It sings when it preheats. You want to try it? Oh, good stuff, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and now, like I said, we are going to be making two different colors of dough. We are going to make yellow and black. I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring. I will put affiliate links to this food coloring and a bunch of other stuff down in the video description below like my super epic awesome favorite rolling pin. This is now my favorite food coloring as well. So we just put a little bit in there and we're gonna whisk all these wet ingredients together. And now we are going to add one cup of white rice flour and a quarter of a cup of coconut flour. I added a little bit of coconut flour just to give it a little bit extra flavor. Coconut flour is very absorbent to liquid so you don't need a lot of it. So I thought mixing it together would be a good idea. Now we're gonna stir all this together. As you stir it together, you're gonna notice it's gonna be a little bit crumbly and not fully mixed. You're going to want to continue mixing it with your hands. Now we have our black dough ready. I'm going to set it aside and make the yellow. Now for the yellow, which again, exactly the same as black, but we're gonna make it yellow. Two eggs, two tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of honey. Try it. I don't think you can eat the whole thing. You want to try it, Memphis? She's just not sure about that one. She's like, I don't know how I feel about that. You want to try it? <laughs> They're like, uh, maybe. Yellow food coloring. Whisk it together. One cup of white rice flour and a quarter of a cup of coconut flour. And stir it together. And now we have a yellow. Now we're gonna take the dough and we're gonna roll it out to a quarter of an inch thick. And I know I've said this in many videos before, that is why this is my favorite rolling pin ever. Because you can adjust it so that it will roll things out to exactly the size you need. 1 16th of an inch, 1 woo, sixth of an inch, 1 quarter of an inch. So we'll take it, take those off, put this back on, put this on here, screw it in. And now, when we roll out the dough, it will be exactly a quarter of an inch thick. This is my favorite rolling pin. This was always my least favorite part of making dog treats. Like, for the longest time, I would literally, I hated rolling out dough because I could never get it even. It was either too thick or too thin. So I bought one of these. Totally not sponsored, but Joseph, Joseph, if you're watching, if you want to sponsor some of our videos, totally up for it. <laughs> I will have an Amazon affiliate link for this down in the video description below. Let's roll out some dough. So I put down some parchment paper because it makes it a little bit easier. Now we're gonna roll out this dough. If it ends up being a little bit too crumbly, you can always add more moisture. If it ends up too dry, we're gonna roll it 
it out. Then we're gonna take our little circle cutter and we're gonna start cutting out some circles. Now we're gonna take the yellow and do the same thing. So you're going to wanna have 10 of each color circle. And then at the end of that, you're gonna to wanna to take some of this yellow dough and cut a strip just like that and set that aside. Now comes the fun part, trying to make these cookies look like the process of the eclipse. The first one I'm going to do is the total eclipse cookie. I'm going to take the yellow dough that we cut into a strip and I'm going to wrap it around this cookie and make sure it meets in that area right there and you kind of just squish it together so that when it bakes it'll bake all together and then you can even take your rolling pin and just kind of roll it real lightly across the top of it in both directions and that is going to be our total eclipse cookie we're going to take that go ahead and put it right on our cookie sheet so now we're going to simulate the shadow going across the sun. So we're gonna take four of the cookies and we're gonna line them up like this and we are going to start cutting them. So we'll cut the first two and then you come over just a little bit more, cut again. Make sure they're lined up right. Come over even a little bit more and cut again. And then come all the way over for a sliver and cut one more time. This so we're going to take and move the cookies like this. This one is going to go here. As you can see, basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna start off like this, go to this, go to this, go to this. Okay, so as you cut these cookies, you're gonna end up with ones that are going to be wrong. <laughs> these are more like a lunar eclipse. So this is what you're gonna want them to look like. The shadow's coming over the sun slowly, then there's the total eclipse, and then the shadow starts to move away. So you basically cut them the same way both times and then flip them the other way. Notice this cookie is pretty much the same as this, but it's flipped the other way. So this is also scraps because I messed up. The nice thing about making a little bit extra cookies is if you mess up, you can recut some. Now you can also just take in anything extra you can cut into circles and throw on your pan. But this is our actual eclipse, what it's going to look like. and. Uh, now we're gonna put these in the oven. I screwed it up when I told you before. <laughs> well, I think we did it. The stages of a solar eclipse in dog cookies. That turned out pretty cool. And what was the point of this? Well, we just wanted to celebrate the solar eclipse. Thought it would be fun. That looks pretty cute. Now it's time for the dogs to try some cookies. All right, taste test time. You're already sitting. Can you speak? <laughs> yeah? You want this? Okay, ready? There you go, take it nice. You can take it. You can, there you go. <laughs> uh, is it delicious? Is that the best solar eclipse treat you've ever had? Just don't stare at it, it'll make you go blind. <laughs> uh, they turned out crunchy enough? Shelby says that is a win. All right, who gets to try it next? All right, it's Miss Oakley's turn. You ready? Okay, take a nice, take a nice. Oh, has you got the cookie? You got the cookie? Did you even chew it or did you just swallow it? I think you took that in three bites, maybe four bites. And it's gone. Well, I think Oakley likes it too. All right, it's Memphis's turn. Can you speak? <coughs> Good job. Can you turn around? You're gonna jump. Turn around. That was pretty good. Sit. <coughs> Sit. <coughs> Other S. There you go. Ready? Take a nice. Oh my goodness. You don't have to run away with it. You get to keep it. Nobody else is out here. Oh, I think Memphis destroyed it in two bites. Two bites and it's gone. 
right, you guys, well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed this fun solar eclipse dog treat video. Again, as I said, some of you requested this on our Twitter. Yes, I know some of you also requested sushi for dogs. We do have plans to make that as well. Are you looking for crumbs that fell down in between the grass? Yeah, you'll find just about anything down there, won't you? You're looking for crumbs down in the grass too, huh? <laughs> Let us know if you end up making these for your dogs. I know it came out the same day as the solar eclipse, but hey, it'll give you something to do while not being out there staring at the sun, because staring at the sun is a bad idea. Also, let us know, where are you located at? Are you in the path of totality for the solar eclipse? Are you going to go watch it? Are you going to go check it out? Let us know down in the comments below. What are you doing, Shelby? Shelby's like, I want to get in the pool because it's hot. Let's get in the pool. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again on Wednesday. Goodbye, guys. Have fun watching the eclipse. Don't stare at the sun.